Hey folks, well that last video you seen, I was out hunting partridge and uh, my girlfriend made a nice stew out of it. This is uh, what it looks like. Oh, that's going to be good there. She's already had some and she likes it. So I'm going to try some myself. Anyway, on another note, I'm going to show you what I've been up to here, here is corn I save. Now when, when I, uh, all I do to save my seeds is basically, um, I'm going to need to get my girlfriend to hold the camera if she will come over and hold that for me, please. This is pretty much how I do it. I just take the corn like this. I've been saving other seeds too here, as you can see. Anyway, I just take this, I just roll it. It just comes off. That'll be my seeds for next year that I saved. I just let them dry out in here. They come off that. They come off that cob so nice. That's actually what they look like. I will uh, plant those next year. I'll do another one here. You can see. See this here. I just take it. Just roll it. Basically, you just got to take your thumb, and they'll come right off once they're dried. I'll put them out in the cold to stratify them, and they should be good seeds for next year. Um, perhaps not all of them may grow, but at the price of them, if I get a few to grow, I'll be happy. Now I do have in here, this is a white pine. What I did was, I dried them out too, I don't know if you can see, that's white pine seed right there, you see? That's the, that's the actual seed right there. I will stratify those as well. They just come right out of the inside here. You let them dry and then they just they just basically open up and fall out. So I'll plant those. They were laying on the ground. Now these guys here, this here, not sure. I believe that's a white white spruce. But anyway, he's he's just starting to open up in the heat here. And uh, I'll plant him next year. I got a cedar here that's he's slowly putting on more roots. So I'll plant him again next year. And uh, got some pumpkin seeds drying out here. I'll replant those next year as well. Yeah, so just an update. Um, next video I will be doing, I will be uh, loading the water jugs in the in the Jeep and going back to get some water there at the spring. So uh, perhaps you may find that interesting. Perhaps you may not. But anyway, that's... Uh, so far that's what we got for... That's what we have for uh, corn mixed in with some white pine, and uh, I haven't even done like I got two of these, two of these containers there. These here are all dried right out. Um, give you an idea right now what you get off one cob. So if you save them, it does not take too many cobs of corn. These are just little cobs. It doesn't take too many cobs of corn to save you four or five dollars on seeds if you gotta buy them in the spring. So that's what I do. Save my seeds, plant them next year. That way I don't have to buy them in the spring. Okay, like I say, next video is gonna be me going to get water. You might find it interesting, you might not. Anyway, take care guys. Talk to you later.